we all know that security has fundamentally changed. You know, I don't think that anyone is worried anymore about somebody has a teenager with a hoodie on hacking away in the middle of the night. These are attacks that are being treated like businesses. That means someone gets up in the morning, they go to work, they hack all day, they go home, they eat dinner with the family. This is a business. It's meant to steal information and to monetize that information. Attacks are coming from nation states. It's not about if you're going to be attacked. It's about when you're going to be attacked. It's about continued business automation. And the challenge that's there, and I'll steal from uh, our security CTO, Chris Hoff, it's not about finding a needle in a haystack to find the bad actor or the malicious. It's about trying to find a needle in a needle stack. It's inherently extremely complex. And so Juniper is offering net new technologies to enable our customers to protect themselves in net new ways. Specifically, we are transforming our platform, the SRX, into a platform for open policy enforcement. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means that we have the ability to take feeds from our own feeds, for what we call sec intel feeds, to stop the command and control traffic to getting to botnets. We also have the ability to block known bad actors automatically and dynamically. However, in 2014, it was projected that there would be almost $800 million of investment in security startups. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of smart people coming up with new ways for how to find bad actors or how to find malicious attacks. But what most of those startups don't have is a way to universally push policy and actually enforce policy broadly across the network infrastructure. And so we are doing that with this platform for open policy enforcement, enabling anyone to actually go forward and use the SRX platform as a single enforcement point, greatly simplifying the IT environment so you do not have to continue to chain devices on and on and on and on at the edge of your network infrastructure. Performance matters. So we're announcing Express Path for the SRX 5000, which enables the SRX series to now be a one terabit per second firewall that can dynamically handle 100 gig flows for security purposes throughout the network. But it's not just faster. It actually decreases latency by over 80%, moving from 40 microseconds down to as low as seven microseconds. This enables a whole new set of use cases to protect the SP mobile infrastructure, where we have massive market share, enables us to go and protect the edge of the data center, and also inside the data center as traffic is moving east and west. The third innovation I'd like to share with you today is the virtual SRX with application security 2.0. The virtual SRX is utilized in multiple different places. The first of which I'd like to talk to you about is this transformation of micro perimeterization. We all know that the surface attack areas are growing. Rami talked about the connectivity enabling not only new business applications and new mechanisms for people to be able to communicate with each other, but just like when you build a new road, you can actually have new commerce, but also you actually enable the bad guys to move down that road as well. So new connectivity enables a greater surface area that is now open for attack. So the key is to make sure that you have the right level of policy enforcement capable of protecting this exploding area of surface attack space. And we're doing it through what we call micro perimeterization. So in the data center, you in the past would protect individual segments or VLANs, whether it's red, blue, or green. But in the future, you need to be able to protect individual application instances as they're spun up. So you're gonna go from having hundreds of physical firewalls to literally thousands of virtual firewalls. And there's only one way to actually handle that growth, and that's through automation and orchestration. And our systems are able to work not only with VMware-based systems, 
but also they're able to work and be integrated tightly with our own OpenStack plus Contrail-based system. Now, we actually have a top 10 global bank that has been deploying this for the past year. The ability to go and spin up new applications and agilely be able to go and spin up a virtual SRX to be able to protect those applications and those application instances. That's just one use case for the virtual SRX with AppSecure. The second is around net new service opportunities. And this is all around this concept of network functions virtualization. So the ability to take services that used to be out at the customer premise and host them inside of your data center network. So instead of having to do a truck roll every time you want to go and deploy a new service, you simply spin up a new VM in your data center. And that works not only in the lab, but we have it out in production networks today, along with OpenStack and our own Contrail-based solution. This is an exciting transformation for many of our service provider customers, but it also, over time, will be applicable to our enterprise customers as well. If you think about why an enterprise customer might need this, you think about specifically if a customer is using VDI. I'm now virtually taking a user that's sitting in the campus and actually virtually placing them into my data center. So my data center firewall now needs to look exactly like my next-gen campus firewall. And this is where having next-gen firewall capabilities through AppSecure 2.0 inside of the virtual SRX is so critically important. Each of these new capabilities around automate, scale, and create enable a transformation of tying the security directly into the network infrastructure because the only way you can actually go and protect your customers. Because we know that some people say the perimeter is actually disappearing. The perimeter is actually exploding exponentially. The need to protect mobile devices and the need to protect applications. And the only way to do that is with Juniper's approach to connecting security and network infrastructure at the same time.